Hey guys, welcome to video number one of how to use Poison. This is going to be an introduction of this synth. And it's honestly a very cool one because it does sound good and it's very simple to use. At first it might not seem like it, there might be, it might seem like there's a lot going on, but I promise you at the end of this course, if you follow all the way through, this thing is going to become very easy to you and very intuitive to use. So first off up here in the left is where we're going to look for the presets that come with it in our banks here. I only have these two. You might have other ones that you may have downloaded somewhere, but generally they're going to show up in here. So most of the stuff of the preset stuff actually sounds good. I find there's actually a lot of decent stuff to use in this synth. So you have 16 voices, which is actually quite a bit. And then for your polyphony, I think the old version went up to 32, but this one goes all the way up to 64. So that's kind of cool. And you got some master stuff here. Uh, you have some MIDI destinations for your modulation wheel here. So like, for example, if you want to have our cutoff, like have our modulation wheel on our keyboard, control the cutoff, we can do that and then we can give the uh, amount 100%. And then now uh, let's drag our uh, cutoff down here a little bit. So we can use that modulation wheel for that, which is really cool. Uh, we have our LFO section, our envelope that we can assign to different stuff, such as the cutoff, frequency A, B, pulse width, A, B, and all that. Then we have our overall master, uh, master envelope here at the amplifier section. And then we actually have three oscillators, not two. So we'll have oscillator A, B, and then we have a noise one here, which may get overlooked sometimes. And then the balance between the two oscillators. And we have our basic filter, which yes, there's only three, a low pass, a band pass, and a high pass, but they're generally pretty good sounding filters on here, in my opinion. So it's it's kind of a limitation. You don't have the certain like, you know, 12 dB, 32, all those stuff, which is the whole point behind this synth that it's 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 made to be easy to use, not bogged down in the thousand million controls that you might get lost in. And this is actually one of the better, I think, starting synths to kind of wrap your head around. And then we have a built-in arpeggiator, which is very cool. Although you can use the one uh, in FL by clicking this gear and going down here to this arpeggiator. It's also an option. But what's nice about this is this will save it within the patch itself. And then we have some effects down here. We have a delay, a chorus, a transcate, which is kind of cool to make different patterns. So it's kind of set, uh, let's put our cutoff back here. So if we turn this to where we automatically have a gate. Then we can smooth it out if it's too, too on-off kind of sounding. And yeah, so we're going to be diving into every one of these sections. And like I said, the course is going to be a little bit shorter than the other ones because there's really not too much to discuss with, with uh, this in, in itself. So hope to see you in part two.